Are you ready to paint a picture? Today, Ansel is going to paint two pictures for us. For this project, Ansel is going to choose his own color palette. He chose green, yellow, white, and blue for his first color palette. Green. Red. Alright, the colors have been chosen. Dogs can be really sensitive to sodium and sugar, so for their health, please make sure that you are using peanut butter that is both unsalted and unsweetened. Salty peanut butter is not good for your dog's kidneys, and sugar and peanut butter can increase your dog's risk of developing diabetes. For this part, I recommend using a spoon instead of a knife, because if you use a knife, you might end up accidentally tearing a hole in the bag, and it's not worth the risk of having your dog accidentally eat the paint. For best results, make sure to use a lot of paint, especially around the corners and the edges. In my experience, the only downside to using a lot of paint was that the canvas boards ended up warping. And that could have been prevented if I had used actual canvases or if I had invested in higher quality canvas boards. So I hope that doesn't deter you from using a lot of paint. When you are sliding the canvas into the bag, try to avoid touching the surface of the canvas to the inside of the bag. Please make sure to clean up any paint that comes into contact with the outside of the bag. Even if the paint is non-toxic, please make sure that there is absolutely no chance that your dog will end up licking paint. And now comes Ansel's big moment. Let's see where his creativity takes him. Ansel has decided that he's done with his art project, so now we're going to help him out a bit. It looks like he missed some of the corners and edges, so we're just going to use our finger and push it out a little bit for him. We're going to do this one now, so a little bit up here. I'm trying to just touch the edges and avoid touching the middle part so I don't disrupt his artistic vision. So now for a big reveal, I don't want to just slide it out because it would smudge it and it would destroy his creative vision. So I'm going to cut it out with scissors. And I've laid out some paper towels here trying to prevent a mess. Alright, and this is Ansel's first painting. Now on to the second one. This is Ansel's second painting, and I'm currently getting it everywhere. So I'm glad I have the paper towels here. Now we're going to leave these to dry. It's been about 24 hours, and these are Ansel's finished paintings. They look so great, and this is painting number one, and this is painting number two. Leave me a comment below and let me know your favorite between these two because I would love to hear from you. And if at this point your dog's chin is covered in peanut butter, then head on over to our other video so you can see how we give Ansel a bath at home. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.